trust or personal name um very good question i actually think there's been an overblown well how should i say like a like a really big emphasis with a lot of other social media influencers and other you know big names in the property industry where they really focus on buying property under a trust and i for one completely disagree with that philosophy not because i don't think buying a property under trust is a bad thing i just think that a lot of people go into it without knowing actually what the goal is buying a property under trust is a pretty big decision and it's a decision that once made cannot be reversed straight up i'm just gonna everyone that asks me should i buy property under a trust my first reaction to them is this are you willing to spend an extra ten thousand dollars per property just to have it under a trust that's my first question because if you're not then a trust is probably not for you when you're buying a property under trust there's a there's a couple of um, pros and cons right most people talk about the pros but nobody talks about the cons the pro really is is the fact that you are protecting your asset so if somebody tries to sue you it means that they can't touch your property because it's under a trust it's protected it's not under your personal name right so really buying a property under a trust is really for those people who for whatever reason has a chance to be sued because of what they do for work their profession or their career right and they want to protect their personal assets and separate them away from their um from their personal name by putting them into a trust okay that's the first thing the second thing is most people put it under a trust especially if they're payg they think they're getting protection but really there's not much risk to begin with and so what actually happens is that there's all these cons that come into the picture now too one massive con is that you can't use a property in your trust to offset against your personal income because remember you've separated the property away from your personal name so it's got nothing to do with your personal income anymore yeah so what that means is you can't actually negative gear this property you can't use the depreciation on this property to tax get tax, tax deduct against your personal income that's the first thing the second thing is you also don't have a land tax free threshold because in every single state there's a land tax free threshold in sydney the threshold is six hundred thousand dollars so which which means that you need to own land that's worth more than six hundred thousand dollars in total in sydney before you are subjected to land tax if you put it under a trust the threshold is zero there is no threshold anymore so you're paying land tax on day one of owning the investment which means it can rack up to a couple of thousand dollars every single year just on land tax right and the third thing as well is that when you put your property under a trust you actually have to manage the trust which means that you're paying an accountant or someone two or three thousand dollars a year just to have a trust there to manage it and to audit it and do all those other things that need to be done with the trust so if you add up the trust management fees plus the, the fact that you can't tax deduct it plus the fact that you have to pay stamp duty i'm um, no, sorry land tax it easily racks up to at least ten thousand dollars per property that you own so if you're not willing to pay at least $10,000 per property to have it under a trust, then don't have it under a trust.